and shortly after we experienced the tail end of Hurricane, when the ship is almost vertical in a way when you're looking down <coughs> and wallowing and then diving down over the crest of the wave and forcing into the bottom of the next wave, that is a fairly hair-raising experience. I was in the steward's pantry when I heard the sound of the torpedo hitting the ship. I have been asked whether I was terrified. I was not terrified. I was too busy to be terrified. But before I could climb on the raft myself, the sea washed me overboard, which actually I believe saved my life because it carried me away from the ship as the ship sank. In total, 60 people on board, 50 lost their lives on that fateful night. My next ship was another tanker, the Scottish Other, just over three months after the Athol Sovereign incident. We were torpedoed. To experience another torpedo attack in such a short period of time uh, was quite an experience, I can tell you. The loss of seafarers' lives in the back of the Atlantic, and of course the Arctic convoys too, was something in the order of 30,000. I personally will not forget them. sacrifice of those who fought to defend these isles, among them the men of the Merchant Navy, 30,000 of whom were lost in a battle that claimed 2,000 merchant vessels.